Hey guys, Silent Tiao here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. And this time round, we are at the last event of the month featuring new stream. Another version basically is a different portion of the full song. Um, we get to play this time round, of course. With that being said, it means that the live animation for the characters, the divas, are all different as well compared to the usual version that we are so familiar with already that is in the, in the game for a very long time. So yes, we have come to the point where Uta Macross is now including costumes from the actual live concert. So yes, we have talked about it at the beginning of the month when they updated all the brand new information for the events of February. And yes, we start off with Mikumo, which means the following gacha that's coming up belongs to Freya. And of course, we get to see the characters put on the WoW Creator Live costumes that the Seiyus themselves, including Juna, who is not a Seiyu, <laughs> wore during the WoW Creator Third Live performance back in, well, I can't really remember exactly when that live performance occurred. I think it was 2018, if I'm not wrong. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, because well, Crossover Live was in 2019, so I definitely did not attend WoW Creator Third Live. Because uh, the Cross Crossover Live 2019 was my first ever live concert in Japan, and of course, that's also the, the only one that I've seen that belongs to the Macross franchise. So, yeah, so that's exciting considering that you know it's not the first time we've seen the Valkyrie ladies wear this costume. Um, it was illustrated for one of the um, you know, Valkyrie key arts, uh, especially for the fourth life. Um, so, in official terms, it's not the first time they are wearing this costume. Um, but in official terms for Uta Macross, this is the first time they are donning this costume in the game itself. So that's pretty exciting as well. And Mikumo has a very lovely um, illustration for her episode. Uh, just so mesmerizing with that purple butterfly and all that stuff. So yeah, anyway guys, let's take a look at Mikumo's episode plate and break it down as usual and see how does it fare in terms of you know, the current trends of episode plates and uh, is it actually any good or is it a must to pull out? Uh, especially if you guys are hardcore Uta Macross high scorers out there. So let's take a look at the episode plate. So 3,854 total score, that's pretty normal nowadays for the recent episode plates. Um, still definitely not hitting the 3,900 mark. Close enough, but still not there. Because uh, if it goes any further than this, it's going to be, end up becoming like a 7 star episode plate uh, standard. <laughs> so I don't think 6 stars will go beyond this. Uh, probably maybe 3,009 or maybe 3,950. I don't know. Let's see how Dana plans uh, things out for the, the life of full time across. Alright, so it doesn't focus on Seoul. As you can see, Seoul is really lacking in terms of points. The main focus is on voice and a bit more on charm as compared to so. So yeah, as usual, pay attention to who are the other divas that can use this plate, especially if you are only the kind of player that focuses on a specific kind of diva. Um, especially if they are your waifu or husband though, you know, considering that Basara is like the only guy out of the 10 characters here. <laughs> So center skill voice up, unit's voice is boosted by 90% up. So as you can tell straight away, uh, Neo Stream is definitely a song that really requires the voice um, stat. So if you really are trying to plan and achieve a very good high score for yourself, uh, since this event is a high score versus event, you definitely want all the episode plates that really pump up that voice stat. You know, to, to give you that good wing at high score. And of course, Mikumo center skill is definitely going to help you out considering that it is technically 90%, which is the highest that we can actually attain in the uh, Ultra Macross currently for a spe specific stat boost. You know, uh, there is generic boost like, you know, total score boost, but usually they don't go beyond 60, in fact, 35% uh, if we're talking about numbers. All right, moving along on the second page, active skill score up. So for 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. So it's not the most generic high score active skill we've got from a 6 star episode plate. The best, of course, is the 100% uh, boost in score. 
seventy percent is kind of like a norm nowadays. But you know, back in the day when they had hundred percent boost in score for the active skill, the episode plates total scores were not that fantastically great. So around the three thousand to three thousand five hundred range. Um, so if you weigh in that factor, I guess it's technically the same. But as usual, you do not want to end up using these episode plates as your center position episode plates anymore, especially since the introduction of the seven star episode plates. I'm sure、um, it will make a lot of sense to have to have a seven star episode plate, especially if they are from the Macross Delta franchise itself.、Um, you will get that double S rank skill. Um, you know, bonus when it's used on the Macross Delta song. Well, considering that the event is belonging to a Macross Delta series, yeah, you're gonna get that very juicy boost up in score percentage、um, due to the center position skill on the seven star episode play. All right, so with that said, Mikumo's life skill definitely should be the main key in getting your best high score out there. So it comes with a Score, repeat, and damage. So that hints out to what kind of song Neo Stream another version is. It's a long duration song, but the problem here is, can you survive the song? You know, with that HP depletion in the skill itself. Maybe you might want to toss in a few episode plates that heal you along the way. Especially considering that Neo Stream another version technically is a level twenty five difficulty song. So if you are the kind of player who cannot cope with a level twenty four, sorry, level twenty four difficulty song, you might want to consider tossing in a a copy or two、um, of episode plates that do heal you up、um, once you've dropped a certain amount of HP. Uh, during the live performance itself. If not, if you are the kind that is hardcore and you have really gotten good at this game, you know, full comboing that tw- level twenty five difficulty song with no problem at all. Go ahead, toss in all the score repeat and damage or score up that and damage、um, episode plates. Dish out that damage to yourself and get the best high score you can to beat that high score ranking. Set list that's currently available right now. All right, so let's move on to the very last page, which will definitely decide this、um, episode plate's fate, whether it is a must get or not. And sadly to say, no, the episode plate does not come with a special note. If it does rock the score note, oh boy, this episode plate is definitely a must have. But sadly to say, it does not come with it. So as usual, guys, if you guys do not have an episode plate that has the skill score, score repeat and damage,、uh, especially if it's under the yellow series episode plates, you definitely might want to consider getting Nikumo's episode plate. It theoretically it has a very good total score,、um, you know, even though it does focus on voice only and it's. Live skill is technically pretty good in terms of high score achievement purposes,、um, and of course the main focus, other than that, is who else is able to use this episode play. If everything is within、um, your factor of use, I guess you know you can go ahead and toss in the money for attaining Mikumo's brand new episode play. If not, if not, well, if all the criteria do not meet yours, well, maybe save up for Freya's. Uh, after you actually try to attain a bit of the epi-、uh, costume points for Mikumo's costume, because technically that's the bare minimum you should do when you're considering、uh, pulling a brand new gacha, attaining the brand new costume、um, for the diva's、uh, wardrobe, I guess. Because now、well, the costumes do play a part in achieving high scores as well.、Uh, if you guys have been paying attention to all the tutorial videos I've laid out、uh, in the past. If you guys have not, make sure you go hit up that playlist on my channel、uh, and catch up everything on Uta Macross and Know Hows. I know there are certain topics that are still currently missing under that playlist. Eventually, I'll get down to it once I've gotten a bit more time to create those videos, especially since I am doing a full time job aside from my YouTubing. So yes, guys,、uh, there is one other thing I want to announce in this video as well. If you guys have seen my subscriber count on my channel, yes, we recently break. Broke through、um, the 600 subscriber mark, so thank you guys so much. I am so overjoyed at this point. I've been stuck for around 500 over subscribers for a very long, long time ever since、um, my Pokemon TCG days. 
um, which basically was the the epic, uh, the highest point of my channel back then. Uh, Pokemon content is definitely more popular than my cross. Um, but still, I'm still doing my cross content because it's something I love and and uh, you know, I love and it's really dear to me along with Pokemon. Uh, sadly to say, I don't do as much Pokemon stuff except for Pokemon Cafe Mix nowadays. Um, so if you guys actually check out my Pokemon Cafe Mix videos as well, I really appreciate you guys. And of course, those of you who have already watched through all my old time across videos, I also really greatly appreciate you guys because a majority of my content nowadays has really got to do with Macross. Um, so yes, really really thankful for you guys and all the love shown to all the content that I put out. Um, you guys have really pushed my channel far and of course uh, you've really given me the uh, passion and the you know the drive to continue putting out content for you guys. So really really thank you guys so much. Um, and yeah, I guess stick around and hope to see you guys um, you know, chat in the comments of every single video. Leave a like and subscribe if you have not subscribed just yet. And of course, if you guys are new and just joining in, um, make sure you hit the subscribe and the bell notification icon as well to stay updated with what's going on on my channel. So yes, guys, let's do it. Let's get down to the neat and gritty of the main video itself and pulling the gacha. So as usual, we're going to do the... Um, free pool test to see how good of a result we might end up getting for this video because well I do have that theory um, which I should probably create a video <laughs> about um, uh, about gacha pools in Uta Macross at this point of time and day that you know Uta Macross has grown into so there have been other views out there with like theories on gacha pools and all that kind of stuff but you know that video is now buried in years worth of Uta Macross content on my channel so I, unless you've watched everything before you probably know what I'm talking about so let's do this the first single pr uh, free plate pool um, to see how the condition is for my account in terms of you know successfully pulling a very awesome gacha template pool so we did get a bit of a load right there so technically the theory is if we do get a decent pool, at least a red box or a brand new episode plate that I have not seen before on my account. That pool for the day is going to end up very good. So if it does end up like a repeated old plate, you know, like this one that we have, generally the luck isn't exactly fantastic. So um, with that said, you know, we can expect a pretty mediocre episode plate pool this episode. Um, so. You know, after creating the last episode, which was Min Mei's Gacha Pool, um, if you guys have followed me on my Facebook uh, YouTube page, um, you guys would know that I've been struggling to try and attain Min Mei's costume. You know, because you know the bad, like I said, the bad minimum is basically to unlock the costume um, for future unlocking purposes by using the episode orbs that you usually get from you know completing. Um, costumes and completing Valkyries and you know getting them from events and all that kind of good stuff um, so yeah that, that technically that is the the old school hard way of unlocking costumes uh, aside from pulling out the feature episode plate because usually the feature episode plate gives you more costume points than needed so yeah anyways let's do this enough talking you guys have been waiting far too long Let's do the template pool. So as you can tell, I've only got enough singing stones for a single template discounted pool right now. Um, I don't know if I'll have enough for Freya's gacha, but you know, just have to work hard at the event and try and attain all those free singing stones for now. All right, so we do get a decent, pretty slow load right there. So hopefully, this mediocre pool will end up uh, to be a good one. So oh wow, one Valkyrie, but we do get a golden orb. And a first rainbow box on the first blink. So the mediocre pool result ended up pretty good. Ooh, okay. So I've gotten an episode plate that just holds costume points and it belongs to Mikomo's brand new costume. So technically I'm good. Um, if you guys still didn't know, still didn't know, I don't know why I started there. So 
Um, usually the first costume that's featured in the event, um, it, the costume usually is technically unlockable through the event episode plates in the event itself. And here we go, the rainbow box. Oh my god, I pulled out the feature plate. Whoa, okay, so that's gonna help me out with the event currently. I, I, okay, even though the single episode plate test was pretty mediocre, we did get that load though, so I guess that was kind of a hint that today's episode might have gone into a good light, and it did. So that's pretty fantastic. So technically the theory is kind of sound. Ooh, that's a pretty plate. Okay, so a pretty good template pool. Very good. In fact, I think it's the best out of all the videos for January so far, I mean, we did pull out a, star, a 6 star episode plate for Ranka. So, technically, the month of January. No, no, I mean, we are in February right now, so I'm sorry. Uh, my mind is uh, still a bit um, excited from this pool. <laughs> so, yeah, so technically, the month of February has been pretty good. Um, not the best, but pretty decent. Uh, we managed to pull out, you know, six star episode plate for Ranka. We managed to pull out one featured episode plate for Mikumo. Um, although there were many other gachas out there, but we didn't pull the featured plates. But still, we did fulfill other criteria like uh, evolving some older episode plates, attaining some new ones, although they may be older, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Uta Macross video. Once again, very big thank you to all you guys who have been watching my content, be it Uta Macross, Pokemon Cafe Mix, Let's Play series, especially the Nonary games. Yes, I know episode 3 has not been uploaded yet. I, I've been a very busy person, you know. Uta Macross is keeping my plate full, my full-time job as well. Then of course, there's Pokemon Cafe Mix. That's a problem when you're doing mobile games. You know, the events just keep rolling out and you don't really have a lot of time to do any other side projects. So. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As every episode, as I always say, I can never say thank you enough, especially for the 600 subscriber count. Um, look forward to the next unboxing video, especially for those of you who have followed me on my YouTube Facebook page, you will know probably what I'm talking about, especially um, Macross fans, and maybe, maybe... Um, fans of Yuru Camp. <laughs> so anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video sometime soon. Until then, bye!